Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your October 2019 reading. Um, I have definitely been MIA for the last couple of months because things happened. So it's great to be back. Um, I have a chance to record your October reading. But before we start, I just wanted to talk to you guys about something that happened as I was shuffling to connect with your energy. The best way I can describe it is like I was shuffling and just kind of, you know, asking the cards, you know, what's going on with Sagittarius for October and I just got super exhausted, which I kind of still feel and I know that's that's a thing for this reading like that some of you are going to be able to resonate with that like there's things in your life that you just don't have energy for anymore because i was exhausted before but i'm telling you i got so exhausted and there was also this metaphor coming up um that was kind of coming through me in my own feelings which is something that you need to be passionate about or one of your passions that you're doing, because I'm passionate about tarot, and as I was trying to find, I was shuffling the cards and shuffling the cards, and I just felt that exhausted feeling, and I noticed that my passion wasn't truly there. So that also might be a metaphor for you guys, and I also felt like there was something that you needed to be excited about, like there was some kind of importance about excitement, because I was thinking... I was watching the cards and I seen the Ace of Wands and I'm like, oh, I wonder if Sagittarius is excited, like, excited enough about that. Do you guys see what I'm trying to say? So anyway, I shuffled and gave myself a blister and now it's time to get started. Um, hopefully some of that mattered. There was just something about finding your passion and like being excited enough to do something because if you ain't excited, Sag, you ain't really wanting to do it. Anyway, we're going to pour some oracle cards. Every Libra season, I work with um, the light and the dark because Libra is dual and it's all about balance. So I am going to pull an indigo angel card, which is something that may be more relevant at the beginning of the month, the first two weeks, Libra season. And this deck may be more relevant towards Scorpio season, which is a bit darker. So I'm going to pull you a card. Now, this is something you're aware of, something that you're clear about, and this is something that you don't know and that you may be unaware of. So let's just pull you a message. What's the message for Sagittarius for October 2019? Whoa. What is the message for Sagittarius for October 2019? I don't know if I just said 13. Oh, are you kidding me right now? All right, so you guys have Archangel Michael. This is literally significant because the Temperance card is associated with Archangel Michael. So I don't know if some of you out there are, you know, resonate with Archangel Michael. This is biblical here, very, very biblical, especially because we have the Mother Mary, which is even more biblical energy. So something is going on here that is probably written um, let's go ahead and read from the book, if I can get it. Archangel Michael, huh? I know this card, there's a flaming sword, alright, that's, there's a huge significance to the flaming sword. I need something to drink. <clears throat> Archangel Michael is on page 14. Okay, so you received this card because Archangel Michael wishes to work with you in your divine mission. <clears throat> Goodness gracious. Like all of the Archangels, Michael can be with you and everyone simultaneously as he un as his unlimited and non -de non denominational as he is unlimited and undenominational. He helps anyone who asks, especially if you have a life purpose to help the earth, which you do, Sagittarius, all indigos do. As the giver of strength, Archangel Michael reminds you of your role on earth. He helps you release fear and have a healthy level of self-confidence, Sagittarius, self-confidence. Call upon him anytime you are afraid and know that you are immediately protected by the grace of heaven. Ask Archangel Michael to guide your decisions based on your purpose instead of fear. Excuse me. And rest assured that he will lead you to your highest potential. 
Whenever you feel alone, afraid, or vulnerable, allow the power of this magnificent angel to bring a comforting sense of protection to you. So, this has something to do with your divine mission, Sagittarius. You know something. This, this is extremely relevant at the beginning of the month, okay? Libra season energy. Something you know. The name Michael might be important. The Mother Mary is here, which is um, a very nurturing energy. Your mothers are coming up here. This is you are loved. All right. Believe in yourself, Sagittarius. Those are all things that you know, okay? Um, there was self-confidence that came up here and helps you release fear. You know, you guys heard what you needed to hear, but whenever you feel alone, afraid, or vulnerable, those may be things you felt at the beginning of October. Allow the power of this magnificent angel to bring a comforting sense of protection to you. There were a few things that stuck out to me there. Especially the fear. You know, I felt I felt a lot of that um, before I started recording for you. Like this anxiousness, which, which is kind of exciting in a way. Let's go ahead and uh, get you a card from here. Now this is more relevant towards the end of October probably. Something that you don't know. Whoa. Oh, goodness. Okay, um, yeah. <laughs> Some cards fell on the floor. I'm not going to take them. I'm going to get you another card. But we have honesty in reverse. <clears throat> and my voice is cracking out. So someone's having a hard time being honest. And we have complicated. So this is complicating things. Um, there's something you want to say. Sagittarius, there's something that you want to be honest about, and it has something to do with loyalty. It has something to do with you being a playful person in denial. So this is about understanding the things you can and cannot have. What is the message for Sagittarius for October 2019? Shit just got real. Like, I don't know if you just felt that, but the energy just shifted. I would say so. I would say so. Bottom of the deck, warrior. Okay, so that's good. We'll talk about that a little bit later. All right, Sag, last night I had a dream about two tornadoes. So this card is really hitting me right now. And it's the number nine up there. And you're the ninth house. So this, is a, this reminds me of Sag anyway. So let's just go ahead and... Uh, read about this chaos all right it's on page 44 so there might be chaos in a home or a foundation for some of you guys all right so a storm is brewing and misunderstandings are all too common as chaos swirls around your life right now misunderstandings mercury retrograde yeah my child, you have nothing to fear. I am here to remind you that after a storm, the air is cleared and life will begin again even better than before. The silly thing is, is if you refuse to take shelter, you will get soaked and you may have to repair a lot of damage. If you created the chaos, you will have to clean it up. But if others are the cause, you must step out of it and wait out the storm. You will be glad you did. A good thing to say to yourself is no drama. So this is my no drama card. We are going to be going through the Libra Scorpio cusp of drama and criticism from the 17th to the 25th. So be very careful on those days. Um, be very careful at the end of October of chaos. I mean, this is basically the tower card. Like some of you guys, there's something you don't know about this as well there might be something chaotic at the end of october that you don't know since this is the you don't know section but um let's just get into the tarot all right um this is the card that took so long to come up but i waited and waited and i was patient right patience is a thing with sagittarius so i just waited um to find this card it was kind of like that focus thing you know i couldn't really focus you guys know how that is as a Sagittarius and an archer. Like, every time I try to connect with your guys' energy, it's like, if I want to connect or if I want to do something, it's like, you got to not focus to focus. Does that make sense? I can't explain it. Okay, let's see what's behind you, Sagittarius. We have the Ten of Swords. We have the Ten of Swords. So, there, there's some kind of ending that is relevant in October. 
Um, you may feel like rock bottom energy, like a victim, like ten swords stabbed in your back. You may feel betrayed. You may feel... I mean, this is just a lot of pain, but this is the light at the end of the tunnel, Sagittarius. There are more options coming in. Um, you know, this is the ending to something painful, Sagittarius. Um, yeah, a lot of options here. With the Seven of Cups, you know, this is illusion, this is fantasy, um, and this is you needing more, in, you need more information, Sagittarius, about how overwhelmed you are emotionally about all these options. It's like, you really want to take your time investigating feelings and emotions and options and just scenarios that play themselves out in October because you know there there are you know you may be spying on someone someone may be spying on you but you need more information there may be communication that is linked to this overwhelming of emotion I mean there's truth here though which I like it's not the king of swords or the knight of swords but it's the page of swords so you know Immature communication it could be linked to over like emotional confusion. This ending, like someone may be confused after an ending, and they need truth now about this. There was an argument, okay? There was there are arguments in October. You guys don't want to fight anymore. You know, like, there's something here about just the truth, and this is conflict communicating and, and it might involve three people we have the queen of wands here so this is your energy and i just tapped and the devil is there so there definitely could be a capricorn involved you know this is uh, someone who's very attracted to you could be a leo woman someone with leo energy but your happiness awaits you sagittarius which it might involve reconciling with someone taking a risk getting back together with someone for new love could be an earth sign Taurus Virgo Capricorn there is a reconciliation in, in your future that makes you very happy this is a very passionate connection with someone I mean I'm not feeling toxic vibes from this I'm feeling really fiery passionate vibes now this could be someone who is a friend this could be you know third parties that could be the toxicity here i am seeing toxic third parties at least three or more people's emotion involved that could be why there's an argument because there's two people in this card who are left in the background you know feeling defeated and there's this person in the situation here which is either you or someone else sagittarius that is just kind of narcissistic and they're the one who's communicating with three people they're the one who heartbreak is linked to or something like that and i don't know and then there's these other two people hurt in the background who aren't now they're not communicating now they're not saying anything but there's still investigation here there's spying this might be what the argument was about there might be a truth that comes out about a third party and that might be why there's an argument but there's options someone you or someone else but there is some of these options are going to end in october some of these illusions some of these fantasies are going to end okay and um yeah so okay let's go ahead and oh this card oh my goodness <laughs> okay there's something important about this card um my friend aaron was in here hanging out with me he's a sagittarius and i was shuffling um with him around and we were smoking and he kept seeing this card he's like what is that rainbow cup card because i keep seeing it it's the ten of cups and i knew i'm gonna just i'm gonna just keep this out because there's just something about this energy for you. And, and I can't believe this. It's, it's very cute. It's emotional fulfillment. This is just obviously important. Okay. It came out a bunch when we were shuffling. My friend Aaron noticed it. And it just fell out of my hand. So, yeah. The Ten of Cups is important. I'm just going to leave it out for you guys. Because this is the energy of emotional fulfillment. It, some of you guys may have family. Um, this could be a relationship. That happily ever after. So, maybe that's where the chaos is happening at i'm not sure what's going on for sagittarius for october um 2019 so there's a lot of communication and attention that you're getting through communication and it might be an air sign a gemini a libra an aquarius there's a lot of um attention there we have the eight of pentacles you're trying to manifest something. You're working really hard. 
what is the messages for Sagittarius for October 2019? I'm going to put this card back in, you guys. If it wants to come out again, it will. There might be a message coming in soon of emotional fulfillment, but I just want a complete deck. What are the messages for Sagittarius for October? Okay. So this is interesting. Um... Eight of Wands, Two of Wands came out over here. So there is some fast forward movement here. Um, someone might make a choice. This is Fire Energy. And then we have the Queen of Cups. So I don't know if some of you guys are interested in water sign women. Um, traveling to see them. Oh, this could be men as well. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. You may have this energy. But I feel like this is a decision whether or not to travel or communicate with a water sign in... Um, October, this has something to do with someone who walked away, um, who may be wanting to return. This may be related to the Aries full moon or the Scorpio new moon later on this month. Ace of Swords, there was truth involved in this. Someone walked away because of their truth, their victory, enlightenment. And now we have someone who's emotionally bored or there's like some kind of missed opportunity to communicate here because someone walked away. And we have the tower and the king of wands. So this could be you, Sagittarius. The king of wands could easily be you. I don't know if there's something going on at work because um, there's another argument here, three of cups. Like, yeah, there's a third party. And it's like, here's that chaos again, that tower, like something shocking. There may be... Some of you guys are emotionally <clears throat> emotionally un unavailable because of everything that's falling apart. Like, I don't know. Someone's walking away for the truth or because of the truth. Like, some, some kind of truth was told. But someone walked away here. It might have been a water sign for some of you. It might just be about emotion. Okay. Uh, what are the messages for Sagittarius for October? We almost had the Eight of Swords coming out. So some of you guys feel really trapped in your head about a separation, a breakup. This was a burden. Um, someone walked away from a commitment. You might have been dealing with a Taurus. And now it's like you feel trapped or someone else feels trapped. Some of you may feel trapped in a commitment, in a marriage even, or other commitments in your life. But yeah, Sag, you're really in your head. Um, at some points in October, just feeling stuck, feeling trapped, like how am I going to move forward? We have the Ace of Swords coming back out, so this is victory. Your truth is really important to speak and to tell and to express in October, especially to those of you who are dealing with heartbreak, separation, sorrow. You know, these are heart-to-heart -heart conversations that absolutely need to happen, possibly with, you know, three or more people, because this could be third parties, like... This is basically communication, enlightenment, and truth. Yeah, and we have the Nine of Cups. So some of you guys desire this separation. Um, some of you guys desired this. Some of you guys wanted this. Some of you guys, yeah, you, there's this break in the, with the Four of Swords, but also the lovers and the hermit. Some of you could be dealing with Gemini, Virgo. You might have a decision to make in love, so you're just kind of isolating yourself, deciding. Okay, um... We have the Wheel of Fortune and the Five of Cups. So Sagittarius, there is this truth that comes in in October. It's just this profound truth. It may not be spoken to you. It's just, it feels like a vibe. It's like, for some reason, the truth is a light that turns on for you in October. And it, it has to do with the direction you know you have to go. This is Jupiter here, okay? So your destiny, your fortune... Um, this is the wheel of your life and there's certain regrets, right? You know, isn't that crazy? I'm getting a Hercules vibe now. It's like the wheel turned in a way, Sagittarius in October that, okay, I do feel like depression, sorrow, emotional conflict, that's what's going to be changing. But I'm also feeling a, d a deeper message here where it's like, there's this truth and you know, it's destined, you know, this is meant to be. But for some reason, this loss and depression is connected to it. Like, is this a part of your fate right now? You know, this is water under the bridge. Like, there, there are certain things that are just meant to be left in the past, Sagittarius, so things can begin to change. You know, you are hanging on to a lot here. Some of you guys are trying to save money. Um, there might You don't know how to communicate with someone about how you're hanging on. Oh, God, Seven of Swords, Lies, Deception, yeah. Someone has a lot of options here, for sure. 
and I don't know why this person feels trapped now and like they need more information but yeah let's see what else Sagittarius October anything else anything else for Sagittarius we have the four of wands so this is commitment, and it fell right here on white with this Queen of Cups. Some of you guys have a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio that you really want to commit to, or this is just emotion. This is love. It don't gotta be a water sign, but four of cups or four of fucking again emotional availability though. Some of you guys need to ask yourself whether you or another person are actually emotionally available in October for this marriage, this commitment. But either way, this is what you're desiring. This is your wish you know like this is what you're praying for meditating for trying to manifest i don't i don't know but there's some kind of wish for a home or commitment here that may happen um what is the okay yeah nine of pentacles this is weird like someone's single yet married or like there's a commitment here someone may get a house here or something because the nine of, it's a new beginning whatever it is it makes you feel really abundant it may involve a risk because this is like single and married like kind of opposite cards here okay um yeah there's a new beginning there's a there's an offer coming in it might involve an air sign what's the wheel of fortune um whoo these two cards just wanted to come out so there's definitely something resurrecting in october that you need more information about like there's literally going to be information that gets summoned to you sagittarius through people from your past through past situations people places and things um yeah this is some a second chance to get more information about something um because you're confused and require more information right now don't you about something that has come to a complete stop a decision you're not making something like that Someone may call you and give you the information that you require this month. They may be spying on you. Someone from your past may be keeping an eye on you. What is the Wheel of Fortune for Sagittarius for October? I mean, things are going to start changing in your favor, Sag. And this is the truth. Okay, even though you're just so in your head, Sagittarius, you feel stuck. We have the death and we have uh, strength. This could be Scorpio Leo energy. You're definitely going to need strength in Scorpio season because I think that's when you guys are going to feel a little bit stuck in your head. And we also have Taurus here. So this could be the Scorpio new moon. A lot of square energy I'm picking up on here. So like basically compromise, taking action with a Taurus or commitment. It's getting a little messy, Sagittarius. I mean, don't really expect much else with the chaos card on the table. I mean, the truth about what you lost is going to come out and like that's what's ultimately going to start changing this wheel when you let that go you kind of feel a little stuck still but you're going to have strength to end something and transform something and i feel like some of you guys are just maybe getting out of commitments with water signs and you're single so what else what else does sagittarius need to hear you guys are working on something okay yeah but emotional availability remember when i was talking about that right here and I accidentally said the four of cups, that wasn't a mistake because now it's coming out. So it's like there's offers coming in and you guys are focused on these three cups, third parties, possibly the same three cups that you're focusing on here. Someone it didn't work out with. You're wondering if like there's going to be a reconciliation. Yeah. Four of swords, like this is someone you haven't talked to. And I feel like there are people communicating with you in October and it's like your phone buzzes and it's not who you think it is though like you get a text message and it's it's really you know you know who you want to you know you got a lot of options Sagittarius but there's just something about a couple of those options isn't there you don't value them all in the same way so the ones that you don't value you're going to let them miss you, you, there's going to be a lot of missed calls um you're not going to be texting many people back or at least some people back especially if you were in a commitment with them because these are just offers coming in and like you're emotionally unavailable you it's time yes sagittarius it's time for you to heal your heart you know there is this absolute breakup maybe with an aries for some of you guys or there maybe there was a father figure involved but there was something that was very shocking and it might have been a third party and it broke your heart and there was a separation there was loss there was sorrow or something and Maybe it was the Aries full moon for some of you guys. It happened around the Aries full moon, which was, I don't know, September 13th. 
but yeah this is about you kind of taking a break and mentally contemplating before you accept offers from certain people because you're single now right some of you are single now and like there's you're not emotionally available because you are focused on someone emotionally you're, you're kind of upset and you're taking a break you're, you know some of you guys just recently got out of a separation or you're still heartbroken or something like that but again there is this decision and remember there's a lot of attention here you're being admired in october you look really good in october sag there's a lot of people giving you attention and you are working hard let's see what it is that you're putting all your effort into in october what is sagittarius putting all their eight of pentacle effort into for october because you're working on something and you're being you're being watched like you're being congratulated and celebrated for how hard you're working because sad you are working really hard please clarify the eight of pentacles the six of pentacles you're working hard at even in the scales paying people back things like that what's the eight of pentacles the four of swords okay so it's telling me to make sure you get some rest especially those of you guys who work um this is a completely different message that's the four of swords get some rest sagittarius you know you're gonna be admired and you don't want like to overwork yourself i guess like don't wear overwork yourself don't like, i don't know now there's a libra showing up here for some of you guys there might be a separation there <clears throat> between the new moon and the full moon in aries <coughs> excuse me mm, you may be moving on from a libra <clears throat> especially if this is one of your friends or if there was a third party involved okay um this might be a marriage that a separation for some of you as well that uh, mm, this is weird energy there's a third party or this was a friendship um some of you guys there might be a libra friend traveling to see you but there's some defensiveness there's like a need you want to protect you feel the need to protect yourself or something hmm very interesting There's definitely going to be some endings and beginnings here. And they're triggered in Scorpio season. We have the Wheel of Fortune and the Death card. Please clarify the Death card. Some of you guys may take time off work <clears throat> in October. Mm. Whoa. So we have the Seven of Swords and the Ten of Cups. So I don't know if there's some cheating going on or deception or some sneaky energy that's going on right in the home. Um, but that's what's going to change things. Deception. You know, the sneaky energy. Someone who's cheating. Like, I don't know. I don't know what this energy is. If someone else is in a completely different relationship. Someone is apologizing. This is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, there is a Pisces here. Oh, God. There's a Pisces here that is left out in the cold for sure. Um, Knight of Cups. Could be a different water sign or just someone who's offering love. Someone is hanging on to a water sign here. And I see three indications of a pisces but the world is here as well so it's time for you to see endings and completions in a different way it's time for you to set to see sacrifice in a different way as well sagittarius but if there was a situation where someone like snuck away or lied or cheated or deceived in a, in a family or if they're happy somewhere else or something there's going to be an apology or a subtle love offer i don't want to know anything more about that there's just some kind of lie about a home or something that, oh God. Anything more about the Ten of Cups and the Seven of Swords for Sagittarius? Two of Pentacles. This is juggling, you know, because there's definitely some things in the past to consider Sagittarius. We have the Judgment card, the Knight of Swords, the Two of Cups. Some of you guys have um, second chances to communicate with people and reconcile. Okay, this is people who were left out in the cold and shit. There are second chances here to make your mind up about who you want to be with, too. Some of you guys have more than one option. Okay, Sag. Very chaotic. Very chaotic reading. Um, just remember your strength, especially when it comes to the things that are ending in your life. You guys, your birthdays are coming up soon, and Scorpio represents your 12th house. So there are a lot of endings between now and over the next month that are going to be happening, okay? So you're going to have choices. Things are going to get interesting, and I'm not sure if you guys are going to be feeling excited, but I don't think you're going to be bored for much longer, if you know what I mean. Things are about to get interesting, 
so thanks for watching guys um so i'm not sure if i'll be back in november to record it really depends um but if you want a personal reading please check my description box and find my email and we can try to set that up okay so thanks guys and i'll talk to you soon bye